hello lovely people how are you all doing guys guess what we have today we have say some some of us call this sim sim uh but i've noticed some people call it zit i don't know if i'm even pronouncing it right guys but hey this is just what we have guys and guess what i'm going to make a village snack out of this thing so how about i share it with you mm? <laughs> welcome already back to the channel guys this is actually pride definitely your village content channel so guys i'm going to do this i'm going to make a snack a very sweet snack out of like you can really spend time with it maybe you're on a journey or you know it's really tasty we love this so let me show you today how to make a good snack out of this thing because i know most of you have not maybe put it to good use let me show you one way of using it in a very unique way <laughs> so guys first of all i'm going to wash it because you know we are going to uh, I'm going to roast it, but I need to wash it because I don't want the soil particles to be in it. When you're chewing it, you only want to chew the sim sim pure. So let's clean it very fast. For starters, have you ever seen someone washing sim sim the way I'm doing? Hmm? Is it also something new to you? Please let me know already in the comment section. Have you ever washed it before? Or oh, have you even ever seen sim sim before? Is it your first time seeing this thing here please let me also know otherwise i could <laughs> i wish you guys were near i would even send you some of these things because we have a lot of them in my land here so guys this sim sim here you can mix it in um in g nuts or what some of you call peanut and you make peanut butter with a mixture of this you get or you could also make just uh, the paste alone without mixing it in peanuts so it's all up to you according to your tests so the ones floating on top are already dirty of course i'm not going to waste it i'll just throw it around here our chicken will eat it guys i have bad news talking about my chicken just few minutes ago a wild cat came and stole one of the chicks you remember i showed you guys we have some young chicks here a wild cat came and just stole one right from here in the garden i felt like killing it but it ran out so fast i couldn't even get it felt really terrible that's the bad news for today but there's nothing more than that so don't get worried <laughs> cheer up already <laughs> we still have more remaining so it's fine let it go So in this way guys the soil particles will be remaining down and all i'm going to do is just to get the top part which is the sim sim itself So you can see all these soil particles here, all these black things. Eh? This is the dirt we just washed away. Yeah, so I can pour it. I wanted to show you that. If you don't wash it, you can end up biting a lot of soil particles in it. So guys, I'm going to put it to to dry before I can start roasting it. if you put this down the chicken will come and feed on them all so let's leave this one here drying as i set the fire so guys you can see it's not yet dry but at this stage it does not matter because the water is not dripping anymore so I can actually put it on fire it's actually going to dry faster on fire you can also eat this raw by the way <laughs> we use this one it's bigger 
another thing does not need a lot of fire otherwise it ends up burning Guys, here it's constant mixing. I think you can see the steam coming out. So, guys, this thing can easily burn if you're not keen. And the only way to be keen on it to avoid burning is you keep checking. And the way we check it is a bit, I don't know if it's weird. But we only do this, you pick a, just a small piece and then you smash it on your thumb like this. Then you sniff it. There's a smell that it brings when it's ready or when it's raw, it brings different scent all together. So there is a scent that we know when it's ready. So that is the only way we check it. Or rather, the color also can tell. But basing on the color, it's not a very good result. The best result comes out when you sniff and then you get the scent that comes out of it, yeah? So don't get worried when, we, when you see me sniffing it um, like consecutively. I'm only trying to check if it's ready and I don't want to burn. <laughs> guys, please let me know how you guys check Sim Sim if your roast, if it's ready. Let me know if there is a different technique that you use. Otherwise, for us here in my village, this is how we check it. You constantly keep doing that. You smash it on your thumb and keep sniffing especially when you hear that sound that means it's almost oh oh it means the fire is actually too hot so you need to uh, speed up on your mixing keep to, you need to be mixing it very fast here it's burning aerate it and make it not burn more because when you leave it standing like this it can actually keep burning again from inside guys the way my chicken are all excited see them so i'm going to leave it to cool then of course i'm going to show you the next part and i know that is what you've been waiting for so hmm? keep waiting Guys, what I'm going to do is to put my pan right here. I'm actually going to melt sugar, guys. This is the thing which is going to make it sweet. So let's wait for the pan to heat up, then I add the sugar in it. It's actually hot enough. as it's heating it has to melt let me just wash my hands very fast because i'm going to be using my hands to make the balls there okay i'm not very sure of the name in english but some call it sim sim cake some call it sim sim balls so i don't know <laughs> but you're going to see it then you let me know how it's called that is if you have ever seen it before So I'm going to put this one here for dipping my hands just to cool it off because it can be too hot. Starting to melt, you notice it? Yeah. So it has to melt totally into liquid before I can start doing it, before I can start making bubbles.
please let me know if you have ever played in your childhood with sugar like I'm doing when you just ate it like sweets. Hmm? <laughs> let me know. This is something that we did while growing up, guys. Let me know if you did the same while growing up and we laughed together. <laughs> Apparently, this is how we used to make sweets while growing up. Mm? We just melt sugar like this, then leave them to dry, and those were our sweets. Mm? <laughs> Unis Manufacturing Company, again, there for you. <laughs> liquid so at this point I'm going to add in the sim sim Ooh, yummy very nice guys I can feel the sweetness already <laughs> We're going to start making the balls. It's very hot. put it down a bit if it starts drying up and it's hardening I'll put it back on fire there we go <laughs> Ooh, you don't want to miss this guys you don't want to miss it you can imagine this taste guys you know that seems seems a bit crunchy and then the sugar makes it really sweet and Woo, you will drink a lot of water after eating this. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> you have to be very fast. <laughs> it burns. terribly delicious guys oh my god I wish you could try it if you can please try it and of course you will let me know how it has turned out hmm? but you're surely going to love it as long as you know how to roast that the sim sim properly it's going to turn out very tasty I'm only putting it back because it had dried up I need the sugar to melt again Here we are guys, you can have a look, how oh, they look so nice, oh my god, of course I want to test it. So before they dry out very well, it's a bit soft, so the only thing is to leave it to dry, like I mean to cool properly, yes, until it's actually hard. When you're eating it, you should bring that, you know that cracking sound as if you're eating something really hard, 
that is how it actually sounds so guys we're going to leave this one here to cool yeah but of course you know i cannot wait to test it even if it does, does not yet cool properly mm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>